This is Yar with Make Use Of, and today we're looking at one of the most successful Kickstarter projects of 2013, the 3Doodler 3D Pen. Unlike any other pen you've ever owned, the 3Doodler comes with plastic instead of ink. It also needs power in order to work. As you can see, this is not your regular pen, but a rather bulky piece of equipment with its very own little fan a tip where melted plastic comes out of, an on-off switch, which is also a plastic selector, a little hole in the back where you load plastic strands, and two buttons to control plastic flow speed. What I like about the 3 Doodler is that it's a spot-on Kickstarter project. The team behind this pen definitely delivered on their promise and did so in time. The web is full of amazing things people have created with the 3Doodler but it's definitely not for everyone. The 3 Doodler comes with its own power supply, and it must be plugged in at all times in order to work. You turn it on by choosing the type of plastic you're going to be working with, and then you let it heat up. When it does, the red lead turns into the right color for your plastic. It's either blue for ABS or green for PLA. As mentioned before, the 3 Doodler comes with lots of colorful strands of plastic. These long strands run all the way from the back of the pen to the tip, but they don't come out the same way they go in. They heat up on the way and melt, so you, end, you put in a solid plastic strand and you get a melted plastic at the other end. Once on, the 3 Doodler is also not as quiet as your regular pen. In fact, don't count on a child sleeping next to you while you're using this pen. It's about as loud as an electric razor or a hair clipper. Not at all like a silent pen. So what does this 3Doodler actually do? As you may have gathered from the name, it doodles in 3D. But this does not happen automatically. It requires some patience and talent. And as you can see, I wasn't gifted with much of either. Using the 3 Doodler has its challenges. Controlling the flow of plastic using the fast and slow buttons at the bottom is important, as too slow or too fast can ruin your design. It's also not uncommon for the end of your melted plastic to stick to the tip in a full circle, forcing you to peel it off with your finger. And be very careful when you do that. That tip is extremely hot when the pen is on. The 3 Doodler supports two types of plastic, ABS and PLA. You can read more about these types in our full review. ABS, which is the type I'm using here, can be used to draw on paper and peel it off, as well as for drawing upwards for 3D objects. Neither of these feats are as easy as they sound, but with some practice you can probably create some pretty nice things. If you have the talent for these small artistic endeavors, unlike me, you may even create awesome things. Unloading the 3 Doodler and removing unused plastic is easy, but as you can see, the strands come out with weird shapes. And it's important to clip these melted parts fully before you try to reuse the strand, otherwise things are going to get stuck. If you're thinking of getting it because drawing in 3D sounds cool, you may want to think again. If you truly feel you can use it to actually create things, you probably won't be disappointed. So head over to the full review on makeuseof.com to learn more about this plastic shooting pen and to find out how you can win it for yourself too.